Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Chernobylite pre-alpha demo on the RX 570. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. Thanks to the publisher for providing a copy of the game, I personally never heard about it until they reached out to me. But after I saw it was a single player game with interesting elements, I decided to give it a try. It was successfully backed on Kickstarter and it's now on its pre-alpha stage. So I say that again, this is the pre-alpha demo of the game. Also, this is an Unreal Engine 4 game and at its current state, the performance is terrible. To be over 30 frames per second most of the time, you need at least a GTX 1060 6 GB for what it tested so far. 1050 Ti's and RX 570's still drop below 30 frames per second at 720 but the game does look very good on Ultra, they need to work on the performance optimizations. I'll be checking the game out again once it's out of early access or gets a big performance patch. Hopefully once it's time to release it, we'll get better numbers, but in its current state, I would wait. I'm not sure why they wanted me to check the game out considering that I test performance on games, but I have to be honest with you guys, I'll now talk about some of the things I think are important about the performance. It usually drops on foolish heavy places, there's a lot of it everywhere. So they probably need to work on more aggressive level of detail for it. The game uses a lot of VRAM and system RAM. It maxes out 4GB GPUs, even on low texture options, which makes the game use more than 8GB of system RAM. So if you have less than 4 gigs of VRAM, I wouldn't even try to play it. Not sure if this is a memory leak. You can see this behavior on the GTX 1060 3GB video. It runs better on Nvidia GPUs than AMD ones. On the AMD card, I saw higher VRAM usage and some particular areas drop into 5 FPS until I get close to them. You'll see this in the RX 570 video. And finally, to improve performance, lower shadows, post-processing and effects. Those were the most noticeable performance difference I could make with the options menu. In the most demanding moments, it won't be a huge difference from ultra to low in numbers. So for now, that's what I have to say about it. Again, this is a pre-alpha demo. So many things are subject to change. Performance is one of them, and best of luck to the Chernobylite developers on this journey. But anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Так кто же счастливец? В каком смысле? Твоя жена. Ты сказал мне, что она беременна. Ох, мы еще не женаты. Но если радиация может разрушить машины, то что же она сделает с нами? Сложно сказать. Неблагоприятная радиационная обстановка. Внимание, внимание, уважаемые.
Прилагивается неблагоприятная радиационная обстановка. Спасибо, спасибо, спасибо. Мне надо, а ты продал. Но если радиация может разрушить машину, то что же она сделает с нами? Сложно сказать. Ничего. Почему они не позволяют нам использовать машины? Мы пытались использовать их, но это не сработало. Что именно не сработало? Ну, первые модели споткнулись о собственные кабели. Неблагоприятная радиационная обновка. Внимание, внимание, уважаемые... Неблагоприятная радиационная обстановка. Спасибо, спасибо, спасибо. Мне надо ты продолжать. Yeah. <laughs> 